All right, space fans, let's talk Mars. When it comes to picking a new home beyond Earth, Mars isn't perfect, but it's the most likely option we've got. Let me break down why. First up, Mars has a day that's almost as long as ours. A Martian day called a Sol is about 24.6 hours. That's close enough to make adapting to life there way easier than, say, the endless day or night you'd get on other planets. Now, gravity is a big deal. On Mars, gravity is about 38% of what we have here on Earth. Sure, you'd be lighter, but it's a big step up from the moon, where gravity is just 16%. That little bit of gravity could make a huge difference for your bones and muscles compared to floating in zero G on a space station. What about water? Turns out Mars has it. There's frozen water at the poles and evidence of salty liquid water underground. Water means drinking, growing food, and even making oxygen. All must-haves if you want to stick around. And get this. Mars' atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide. While that's useless for us, plants love it. CO2 is fuel for photosynthesis. And that's how we could start building a closed-loop ecosystem on another planet. Then there's the big dream terraforming. Out of all the planets, Mars is the only one scientists think we could maybe, someday, transform into a more Earth-like world. It's a long shot, but it's something. So, why not the Moon? The Moon's got no atmosphere, no magnetic field, and way too little gravity for healthy living. Great for a visit, not so much for settling down. Venus, who just don't. Temperature's hot enough to melt lead, an atmosphere full of toxic gases and crushing pressure. No thanks. And those giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, forget about it. No solid surface, deadly radiation, and pressure that would crush anything we send. Some of their moons, like Europa, Titan, and Enceladus, are super interesting and might even have life under their icy shells. But they're way too cold and far away for us, at least for now. So, quick recap. Earth is perfect, obviously. Mars? Most promising for humans. The moon is good for pit stops, not for living. Venus and the gas giants just plain deadly. I'll keep an eye on those icy moons, but Mars is the best shot we've got, at least in this solar system. Stay curious out there.